Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 9th. March 9th is the 68th day of the year, except for leap years, when it's the 69th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, with 297 days remaining until the end of the year. Right now, we're looking at tosspot words. Tosspots are words coined by combining a verb and a noun, like spitfire, shunpike, or scofflaw. In order for it to be a tosspot word, the noun has to be the object of the verb. So, shut eye is a tosspot word, but shut in is not. Today's word is killjoy. Killjoy is a noun that means one who spoils the enjoyment of others. This comes to us from Old English and Old French origins that mean to kill and joy. Earliest documented use is 1776. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. I'd like to ask you to go ahead and click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay to the end for outtakes. <laughs> and remember that you can share this video with others by a link in your email or social media. And with that, we're going to start in 1454 when Italian cartographer and explorer Amerigo Vespucci, after whom the American continents are named, was born on March 9th, 1454. Amerigo Vespucci. Napoleon Bonaparte married his first wife, Josephine, on March 9th, 1796. I hadn't realized that he'd been married more than once, so of course I had to look into that. <laughs> Well, it happens that they had been married for about 13 or 14 years and had produced no children. And he was very concerned about having an heir to bequeath his empire to. And so he divorced Josephine and married a younger woman in hopes of producing offspring. To follow up with that, they did have a child, they had a boy, but he only lived to the age of 21. And it seems that, um, he had affection for Josephine for the end of his days. It's reported that her name was the last word he uttered when he died. Moving on, March 9th of 1841, the Supreme Court ruled that African slaves who seized control of the Amistad slave ship had been illegally forced into slavery and thus were free under American law. On March 9th of 1842, the first documented discovery of gold in California occurred at Rancho San Francisco, six years before the California gold rush. On March 9th, 1916, Pancho Villa attacked the border town of Columbus, New Mexico. He was mad because of American support for his rivals for the control of Mexico. On March 9th of 1918, the ascendant Bolshevik Party formally changed its name to the All-Russian Communist Party. March 9th, 1918 is the birthday of American crime novelist Mickey Spillane. He lived to the age of 88. Also the birthday of American singer-songwriter Mickey Gilley, born on March 9th, 1936. Still alive as I read this in 2020, he turns 84. We've talked before about American chess wizard Bobby Fischer. Well, today is his birthday, March 9th, 1943. He died in 2008 at the age of 64. And this caught my attention, although I don't know that it'll ring a bell with just everybody, but this is also the birthday of English rock guitarist and vocalist Robin Trower, born on March 9, 1945. I've placed a link in the show notes to his song, Bridge of Sighs. He turns 75 in 2020, and by golly, it looks like he's still touring. <laughs> Go Robin Trower. Ooh, on March 9, 1959, the Barbie doll made her debut at the American International Toy Fair in New York. I got my first Barbie when I was seven. On March 9th, 1981, there was a leak of radioactive waste at the Japan Atomic Power Company plant in Suruga, Japan. 16 tons of nuclear waste spilled into Wakasa Bay, which is on the west coast of Japan. 59 workers were directly exposed to radioactive sludge and foods harvested from the ocean, such as 
seaweed and fish were recalled. The president and chairman of the Japan Atomic Power Company resigned a few months later. Actor and comedian George Burns died on March 9th, 1996 at the age of 100. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that links to my research are included in the show notes. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And feel free to share this video with others so that your friends know what you know. While you're here, check out my other channel, 8 Susquehanna. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Right now we're looking at toss pot words. Really? Let's start over. Fine. There's an outtake for you. <laughs> All right, let's back that up just a little bit. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> and we'll probably leave that part out. <laughs> Links to my show notes are listed in the resources. <laughs> so many mistakes. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up right quick. We're not going to go into all that, okay? I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>